Hello you guys, this is Cal here. First of all, I want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. I'm just so ecstatic to the fact that you guys are have me almost at 10,000 subscribers so far. You're almost in those double digits, so let's try to work for it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that you guys are just supporting the channel. Today, I'm going to go a little off script and just kind of speak from the heart and tell you guys about the next thing that I'm planning, or there's several things that I'm planning. So this video is going to be more for my Half-Life subscribers. So those of you that have subscribed to my other content, you know, on this channel, don't worry, you guys will get a video very soon about that one. So. You guys obviously know who I'm talking about, but uh, let's just go ahead and talk about Reinstated for today. A lot of you guys in the comment section in my last couple of videos have been asking, hey, when are we going to get the next you know, episode or chapter of Reinstated? Are you planning to do something next? And yes, I am. I am planning to do something next. Just want to let you guys know that I am doing that. I'm not going to be like Valve and not say anything, which wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be fair to you guys if I just completely did not talk to you about it at least letting you guys know something is at least going on I'm going to just briefly speak about it so you're going to hear me ramble on a little bit i'm going to try to keep it short as much as i can and not going to give away too many spoilers because there's going to be a lot going on into the next couple of episodes of reinstated again i just don't want to reveal anything too early so reinstated obviously is about continuing the journey of adrian shepherd who was the protagonist of half-life's opposing force video game from 1999 Wow, I can't believe that it's been that long already. But yes, this is supposed to be his sequel. And I know that there are several mods that usually continue with story. There was actually one being developed in 2011. That one got canceled indefinitely because they just couldn't have enough people to work on it. They just ran out of time, just fell through the cracks. And then there was another one done by another fella who did Prospect. I personally felt that that wasn't really a official sort of Half-Life, or not official, but a a true story to Adrian Shepard. It just didn't have that Half-Life vibe to it. And a lot of people who played it, which was a paid mod, they didn't really like it either. It was it was more or less um, uh, mixed into negative reception. So it wasn't a really good so, sort of Half-Life game. It, it just was a lot of people just didn't like it. So this acts as more of like what if Gearbox or if Valve were to go back and do an expansion pack story and do it from the perspective and do a sequel, you know, this would be, I feel, more in tune to having a Posing Force 2 story that would be true to Adrian Shepard's next sort of stepping stone into the world of Half-Life 2. You guys saw from the videos that this is obviously his journey into Half-Life 2's universe where he stepped into City 14. Um, one of the things that I did want to say first is, if you guys watched my first reinstated video, I did retcon some stuff in the storyline for when I write when I started writing my scripts out and it's going to be a little bit different in the future so we'll see that scene again but it's going to be some things are going to be changed up it's going to be different because I felt that in order for have our to have our story we needed to have something a little bit more different um, as far as where Adrian Shepard is we are going to see a lot more you know beta content that was cut from Valve in, in the early versions of Half-Life 2 and we're going to see a lot more new things. Again, this is for me, continuing the tradition of having something new and fresh, kind of like what Opposing Force did. They introduced more enemies, characters, weapons, that sort of thing. And we're gonna see that from a film perspective. I feel like that would be more in tune to what a Half-Life Opposing Force 2 sequel would be. That's what we're going to see. So Adrian Shepard obviously doesn't know where he is, He's going to be fighting the Combine, which is a new enemy. So he was so used to fighting the aliens at Black Mesa. Now he's got to fight this whole new enemy force that has completely taken over the planet. So he doesn't know exactly where he is. So we're going to not only have more, you know, content. He's obviously going to be fighting this new bad guy. And that is the console of City 14. We don't know who he is, but we know that he is sort of a dictator like figure of City 14 and he works in line as the second hand man for Dr. Wall Spring, who is the administrator of the entire Combine um, race, I would say, for Earth. He has a military background. We know that um, from what you guys are going to see later is that he knows that um, there are certain things that go on in the city and that he going to have a little bit of a meltdown with uh, 
the fact that these resistance members are taking over and it's going to eventually lead into that story of half-life 2 and that's the only thing i'm giving away here so there's nothing else i'm going to say about that so it's going to eventually lead into the story of half-life 2. we're going to see a lot more of that and adrian shepherd this is going to be his new sort of nemesis this is the person who he's going to be fighting next one last thing about adrian shepherd just him as a character is yes i am making him a full-on character he's no longer going to be that silent protagonist that we once knew him as because it obviously worked for gordon freeman but we don't want to have two protagonists who are kind of just silent and don't say anything adrian shepherd really needs to have more of a character uh, personality to him and what better way to do that than actually writing things for him to say and do and you know we get to have more of a character backstory so he's no longer going to be our simple u.s marine underneath the mask you know as we always knew from the original half-life games he's going to be a full-on fledged character as far as what i am writing for the next episode of reinstated he's going to be uh, you know obviously the protagonist of the story but we can't certainly have the protagonist especially in a cinematic film perspective for him to just not say anything it's just not possible i think that with this we are finally going to see you know who he is who is this who is this this person and who is he under really underneath that mask if you guys remember correctly is that adrian shepherd he may be a u.s marine working for the hazardous environment combat unit in half-life but really he's just a 22 year old kid who you know became a corporal in the united states marines and he got thrust into this whole situation so he's he's just a kid he's scared he doesn't really know where he is and he can only remember what he was taught during his military training in order to adapt overcome and survive all odds against him that's what we're going to see him evolve even beyond in reinstated and i feel like that would be more of a of a true half-life opposing force 2 sequel you know we have to have characters grow and that's what we're going to see and you know him meeting new characters you know having him face new obstacles in his journey that is what we're going to see okay guys so enough talking about it now i don't want to give any more spoilers away so if you guys have any questions again you guys are welcome to ask in the comments i'll try to get to some of them and if you guys have more of a specific question um you know about the story of reinstated you guys are always welcome to email me which i'll put in the description below i hope that i can get to this a little bit sooner i know i've been a little busy so i'll try to get to this as much as i can and please like subscribe and just share this video with anybody or any of my other videos i would really appreciate it i'm also on patreon you guys are welcome to support me or not it wouldn't hurt my feelings but i'm also on there too so thank you guys so much and i hope to see you guys in the future and we'll have more awesome content either later in this year or when we get into next year so thank you guys and you guys have an awesome day